Hello, my name is TJ King. This tutorial is brought to you by SuperiorNetworks.biz and OverTheWire.biz. This tutorial will mark one of many tutorials for training for your A-plus certification testing. The book we are using is called Mike Myers CompTIA A-plus Certification All-in-One Exam Guide 7th Edition. Now this is a comprehensive training, so we'll go in d into depth so you can get an idea to what gaining a certification is all about. Now, CompTIA A-plus certification has been the standard for many years, even though it wasn't accepted until about 2003 in mainstream society. It encompasses the ins and the outs of a personal computer. Something to remember, without this certification, it is almost impossible to break into the tech world, especially if you're looking to get a job. This statement holds true even if you have a degree. They want to know you test it out and know the basics to a computer. Now, computer networks for, the most, for most companies are essential and require you have a knowledge to operate and maintain them. Why? Because some, if not everything, of a confidential matter travels on and through the network. So a trusted individual is the only one you want running your computer networks. With that said, let's move into the basics of a computer. Okay. Now, PC, it stands for Personal Computers. Personal computers use binary code to translate and execute commands. Otherwise, <clears throat> excuse me, humans, even though they created it, cannot think in terms of binary. Binary is just ones and zeros. Binary is also called machine code. Everything you do, including the contents of this video, was saved in ones and zeros. A phenomenal idea, right? Now, the PC requires what we call a platform, or an operating system, or OS for short in order for it to function. Otherwise, it is just a block of metal and plastic. There are several different types of OS's out there, or platforms. Every tech should learn the basics of at least two platforms, or OS's, whatever you want to call it. Now, Macintosh is a Unix-based operating system and is on the rise. So the two most popular are Windows-based and Unix-based. Um, if, if it's any consolation to you, just to give you a, a little bit of help. Uh, learning a Linux or a Mac system in addition to your PC training is essential nowadays. Most companies are looking for Mac technicians because Macs are a very, very uh, savvy type of PC, but a very useful one. That's, as a matter of fact, this video is being shot on a Mac, and a lot of, uh, my, a lot of my tutorials will have some Mac instruction in it also. Moving forward. Let's talk about the term input and see how it relates to a computer. What about, or what are input devices? Well, we have keyboards, we have mice, we have even biometric scanners and microphones, just to name a few. Now, without these devices, your computer will not respond to anything. Now, voice response is becoming even more popular, and so is video response, but that will happen in the near future. Now, let's move on and talk about output. What is output? Well, this involves the displaying of your data on a computer monitor, printer, or audio speaker. So this video is considered output. An example, you also, another thing that you can think of is you clicked on this link to get to the tutorial and the output is the video. That's the result. So output in itself and input, they happen very, very quickly. But there is something in between that we must talk about, and this is called processing. Processing is basically uh, only the, the best example I could give you would be when you hit send on an email application it processes your request uh, based on the programming instructions that are put into the send button so keep in mind some computers process information faster than others so if you see it holding up it may take it may probably take a while because something is processing um, or it could be a bug in the system that's that happens quite a bit okay now I am going to demonstrate how a computer uses input, processing, and output. <clears throat> Let's talk about storage. What is storage? Well, this is where all the data and application gets saved to. It can either be on a stationary medium, like a hard drive, or a non-stationary medium, like a CD, or a DVD, thumb drive, or external drives. There's more, but we're just naming a couple. So in easy terms, storage is where data can be put and saved. Think of a closet and you're putting things in there. Now, you know the four basics that are required for you to learn how to be a technician. The four basics would be input, processing, 
output, and storage. These are very critical, otherwise your machine wouldn't operate. Okay. Now, we are going to demonstrate what a PC looks like. We're going to go from that. For the, this is obviously for the novice user. So, with that said, uh, let me go ahead and show a video of what one looks like.